for these projects today, we are going to need to have a semicircle of some sort. Now you can achieve this by using a paper plate and folding it in half like so. Make the ends of it meet and then take one finger, pull it back at that center part and this is easier if you do it on the table and then fold like this. This will give you the longest lasting toy because the paper of a paper plate is thicker. However, if you do not have a paper plate, this is okay. For these ones, I used cardstock. So if you have cardstock, I would suggest finding something around your home. So I found cardstock. And then what I did is I found something circular in my home that's about five, six inches, and that's about the width of your fingers. So this is about five inches wide. Then I took a pencil, took a pencil, traced around the circle, and I, here's my circle. And then I needed a pair of scissors to cut out my circle. Here is the circle that I made using my bowl. So you can start this way too. Hello. So let's make our springtime rabbit. So I already have folded my one of my paper plates. For this, I will need paper plate, markers, scissors, and a cotton ball. Now, if you are making a smaller rabbit, you can use more than one cotton ball. This is actually part of the cotton ball I used and tore off some for this. So we can make it much, much bigger by just making it, pulling out a little bit. Now if some of it falls off, roll it back together again, and then pull again. And now we have a bigger cotton ball. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper. So now we have to draw the rabbit body. So let's do that. We'll start whatever dark color you wanna use. And we will start by drawing where the nose is, a little bit inside right here. So. Inside. On paper plates, there's usually a line right here. So I'm going to follow the line a little bit and stop about here. Now I need to draw my little rabbit leg. The front of rabbit legs are usually pretty small. So there's that. And then we're going to draw back. Oops. And stop. Now we need to draw the big back leg of our rabbit leg. So, a big backwards curve, like this. And then a little foot, like that. And then we draw a line back, like this. And then pull it all the way back up to the top. So now we have our rabbit body. If you want to do this on both sides, you can. Now I want to add an eye. So here, close to the front, I'm going to draw a circle like so, 
and then I'm going to draw part of a circle here and then part of a very small circle at the bottom and then color around the outside. Now I'm making this black but if you're drawing with a purple marker you can make it purple or you can make it red because some white rabbits have red. And now, whoop, very quickly, I will draw three whiskers. On this side, I will also draw a little circle. I can open it up. So on the other side, After that, let's make a cute little pink nose below the whiskers. Whoops, it's trying to hop away. Make half a triangle shape or an arrow shape pointing this way. And then on the other side, make a little arrow shape pointing towards the front. Ta -da. Now, let's make our rabbit running through some grass. So I will grab my green, maybe my pink, maybe I have some red, and maybe some purple, orange, yellow, blue flowers, whatever you like. The nice thing about this is we can I'm using the edge of my marker, not like this, but like this, to color in very quickly. Now I can go back and fill this in if I like. And then, And then in springtime, usually there's tulips. So start with a U shape, like this. And then pull down, like that. Like that. And then color in. So we have a rabbit, but no ears, and we need a tail. So for the tail, cut. Right here, small cut. Then this. Take a pencil and use the pencil to push the tail through the hole and pull it through to the other side. Now we have a fluffy bunny tail. Now for the ears, behind the eye, so behind the eye, we will fold the paper plate just a little bit, like this, so like this, and cut a little hole, 
like this for the ears. Now for the ears, we can take a regular piece of paper or a scrap piece of paper, fold it in half, and draw some big bunny ears like this. And then cut. Now we have two bunny ears. Two bunny ears. And then make the same shape as the ear. And then we have two, two ears, take this one, pinch it, like this, do the same thing to this one, like this, and then take both of them. Take it to your bunny and put them in the hole here. And now, ta da! We have our rabbit. Yay! Bye-bye.